Good day, everyone. Welcome to another episode of our SMS at Smart Tools Money Making Series. Our featured Smart Tool for today is going to be the non-GSM Character Checker. Unfortunately, this will be the last episode of this Smart Tool Money Making Series because this is the very last Smart Tool that you're able to use under the Smart Tool platform. But don't worry, we still have some uh, new videos to come with some other features that you can utilize in the platform. And let's just focus for the non-JSON character checker for now. Um, this tool is um, something that you can use easily to check your text messages for characters that are not part of the GSM character set. And this is very important because messages containing non-GSM characters may not be delivered correctly over the GSM network. And sometimes it does, but it does limit your um, set of characters when sending the message. And let me show you um, what it would look like if you're gonna send a message. So for example, you're here in the messages and you're gonna type the whole uh, message here. And for example, this one, I've actually already uh, looked up to all of the Unicode characters that can be detected, detected as a non-GSM character. So for example, this one, and um, I'm gonna just choose a contact here. Let's see, um, or just, just, just try our number. So we will try our default number here. Uh, this is for the demo account. So let's see. So this is actually the message that you will get if you have non-GSM characters there. Um, this message contains Unicode characters and is over 70 characters in length. Any SMS that includes one or more non-GSM characters will be charged one credit for each 70 character segment. So instead of 160 character per segment, if you have non-GSM characters in there, um, your character segment will be just be read 70 um, characters only. So that's going to lessen your um, message sending for like a half. And for most of you guys, maybe you have unlimited texting, so that's probably fine. But if you're in cloud, that may take up a lot of uh, credits for you. And you might, you might still want to consider that if you're sending still even on unlimited texting, because for example, you have a very long uh, message here that would reach up to like 700 characters perhaps, right? And if you think about it, if it's um, not divided by 160 in, in, and instead it's gonna be divided to 70 now, your seven, um, 700 character message would be counted as like seven messages for just one recipient. And if that happens, you might get flagged by the carrier or the recipient. So that's one thing to consider. So uh, how you can utilize the non-GSM character checker to know that you don't have these Unicode characters is just simply copy your message, maybe on a note somewhere, and then go to Smart Tools here on your left menu, and then go to non-GSM character checker. And you just simply paste your message here that you're about to send to your recipients. And as you can see, all the characters will be highlighted so that you will know which one you have to remove. So as you can see here, all of these that like the trademark symbols, the uh, registered symbol, um, the copyright symbol, those are just some of the examples. These are just like because I've gathered all of these online, which ones are the non-GSM characters. Uh, so we got like the, these are like Polish characters. Sometimes you would get these if um, like you copy the document over online. And uh, it would appear um, like an unfamiliar part of the alphabet letter like this. Um, usually these are like Greek and Polish um, characters. So... Um, at least you would know. Um, again, if it's going to be highlighted, you just simply delete that part of the message, right? So you can see it's going to be removed from the highlighted mess. Um, non-Unicode non 
or GSM character. And once you delete that, you just copy and paste it again here. And that way it would tell you that it wouldn't tell you anymore that there's no non-GSM character. And you can send uh, you can still send with um with that error, right? But again, just to take note, it would um eat up 70 characters per segment. So please go ahead and uh, utilize this tool so that um, you can manage your messages. <clears throat> um, th this is really a one way that you can ensure that your text messages are properly formatted and delivered correctly over the GSM network. Um, this tool is really essential because in the digital age, we ensure that any text message sent via the GSM network is properly encoded and delivered without errors. Without these checkers, uh, text messages could contain characters that the GSM network is unable to encode or transmit, potentially leading to messages not being delivered or being delivered with errors. So um, yeah, go ahead, guys, and um, utilize this tool as much as you can. All right, and that's about it. Um, just a quick reminder about our new platform version 2.0. Uh, if you haven't grabbed it, go ahead and grab your subscription today so you, you would be grandfathered to the account and uh, you won't. This is one way to avoid the pricing fees because we'll be increasing um, the prices for the version 2.0. You would be able to enjoy all the new uh, features and 100 plus integrations that we have in version 2.0. And also, if um, you need some other use cases for the non-GSM character checker, I would be posting a link of the blog that we created for it for use uh, other use cases. So go ahead and check that out on the link below. And lastly, if you haven't joined our Facebook community yet, go ahead and also click the link down below because we have a lovely community, a responsive community that can assist you all the way with um, your concerns. So that will be all. I hope to see you guys on our other videos and uh, money-making series. And I, thanks for tuning in. I hope you all have a good day. Bye.